Hey guys! <laughs> Just kick the camera. You guys hear the overlord out there? Hey guys, today's video is going to be a fun one. It's going to be a comparison video. We're going to compare Poshmark and Mercari. Poshmark and Mercari. So I did a little bit of research and I have uh, some notes here on my computer and I'm going to be comparing the two and telling you guys my thoughts. Telling you guys uh, which platform I prefer, the pros and the cons. And you know, you guys, you guys can make up your own decision at the end. Okay. My camera just made a weird noise. What was that? What, what are you doing? What are you doing? Now would be like the perfect time for my camera to shit out, to shit the bed, to shit, to just shit. Okay, so first off, the basics. Mercari and Poshmark are both free apps that you can download. And when you list stuff on there, it's free for both of them. As far as like how many people are on each, uh, each platform, I didn't, I didn't research that. But that would be interesting to know how many people are on Poshmark. So on Poshmark, there are 50 million active users, approximately 50 million. Take or take or leave, take or leave, <laughs> approximately. On Mercari, 15 million. Really, that much less? These are statistics. This is 2020 statistics. This is updated uh, the end of January this year. 15 million users. All right, I don't know for sure if that's true, but we're just gonna, we're just, we'll just go with that for now, I guess. Okay, so first category, items you can sell. What can you sell on Mercari? Pretty much anything. <laughs> Other than, you know, like illegal shit, like drugs or like counterfeit items, flammable stuff. You can't sell flammable stuff, but pretty much anything else you can sell on there. Mercari's kind of like a free for all, kind of like eBay in the sense where you can sell pretty much anything. Poshmark, you can only sell clothing, accessories, shoes, makeup that is new, that hasn't been used, and select home goods. Select home goods. Okay, fees. Like I said, both apps, it's free to list. I keep wanting to bring eBay into this. Like eBay's up there like, hey, talk about me. I'm like, I don't even care about you. Why, why? Okay, I gotta, I was gonna say, unlike eBay where there are listing fees. Okay, eBay, Psh, go away. <laughs> so on Mercari, their fees are 10%. On Poshmark, their fees are 20%. I hear the pitter patter little feet. They've been interrupting my videos lately. I don't know if you guys have noticed. If you've watched through the end of the videos, my girly babes have made an entrance in like a lot of my recent videos. Okay, um, what was I saying? 10% uh, on Mercari, 20% on Poshmark. If you have something that is under $15, Poshmark doesn't take 20%. They just take a flat fee of $2.95. Bundling. This is a huge one for me because I sell a lot of bundles. On Poshmark, you can bundle things. You can bundle a, a lot of things. I actually sold a bundle of 26 things the other day. On Mercari, the only way to bundle, like you can't bundle individual listings like you can on Poshmark. What was that? Hold on. If you wanted to bundle something on Mercari, then the seller would have to like put everything in one listing. That's kind of a big thing for me. At the end, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you my, why I choose the platform that I do. Okay. That's bundling. Okay. Next is feedback. So, or like, or ratings, feedback slash ratings. On Poshmark, buyers do not have to rate you. Um, and if they do, they can, they can leave you like a one to five star rating and they can leave you a comment. If they leave you like a four star rating and a comment, nobody can see that except you. The only thing that like the public can see for your ratings are five star ratings with comments. On Mercari, the seller has to rate the buyer and the buyer has to rate the seller. As a seller, you do not get to see your buyer's rating before you rate them. I've had that kind of backfire on me before. I left someone a five star rating and they left me like a two star rating. I'm like, what the fuck? If I knew you were gonna be an ass, I probably would have left you a one star. Like what, what? Also on Mercari, you can see all of the feedback that is left, whether it is positive or negative. You can see it all. Like everyone can see it all. Let's talk about shipping. So shipping on Poshmark up to five pounds is $7.11. $7.11 can kind of be a lot if you're just buying like one item, like maybe like a pair of earrings or something. That can be kind of a lot. On Mercari, you get to choose which carrier you use. You can use um, uh, post the post office, USPS. Hello, I didn't even hear you sneak in. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm back. 
high shipping on Recari. You get to choose the carrier, USPS, uh, FedEx, or UPS. Next is communication between buyers and sellers. On Poshmark, you can communicate through bundles. Like when you create a bundle with someone, you can you know send them a message, but anyone can see that. On Mercari, you can message each other. <laughs> you can message each other privately. Referrals. Okay, so on Poshmark, when you refer someone, when they use your code to sign up, you get a ten dollar credit on the app. Same thing on Mercari. You get ten dollars. Okay, next is payment. Woo. Okay. So for me at least, on Poshmark, if I transfer my earnings before seven o'clock, right now it's one o'clock. I have until seven o'clock tonight to transfer my earnings to my bank account and they will show up in my bank account tomorrow. If I do it after seven o'clock, then it'll be the next day. On Mercari, every time I've gotten paid on Mercari, it's been days and that, I don't like that. Going off on a side tangent, um, you know, when I see like YouTubers do brand deals and they're like, oh, I don't get paid until 60 days after the brand deal. No, 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 no. I've done many brand deals before and I've had companies tell me, oh yeah, payment's gonna be like a month, two months, 90 days after the brand deal. I'm like, no, no it's not or else I'm not gonna do this, like, no. Next is returns. On Poshmark, you can only return something if the item isn't, what it was in the listing. So if the item was like damaged, they didn't disclose the damage, you can return it. Um, that's pretty much the only case. You can't return something if it doesn't fit you. You can't return it if you don't like it. You also can't open a case to return something after you have rated. So on Macari, it's the same kind of thing with returns. You can return it if you know it was damaged, if, if it arrives in a condition how it was not in the listing. If it arrives, looking different than how it looked in the listing. How about that? Then you have three days within the confirmed delivery day to return it. So just a couple of extra differences. So Poshmark is a social app and Mercari, not so much. So on Poshmark, you wanna be active on there. You wanna be interacting with other people. You wanna be sharing your listings. If you don't share your listings, your stuff won't sell. On Mercari, you don't have to share your listings. You just list it and then it just hangs out there. They do offer a thing called um, um, like a promotion where you can do that once every three days. And basically what it does is it sends your listing to the people that have already liked the listing. Poshmark, same kind of thing, offers. You can send an offer to people that have liked your listing. Um, those offers are good for 24 hours. So there's other differences between the two platforms, but those are just the main ones that I wanted to talk about that I thought were the most important, I guess. Um, so my thoughts, okay. I choose Poshmark. First of all, I like the social aspect of Poshmark, although it can get to be a lot sometimes. I, I like that I have to be on there because it encourages me um, just to be productive with my business. I like the fact that after something is delivered, I can get paid in 24 hours. Bundling is a huge thing for me. I like being able to bundle. I sell a lot of bundles. Like I told you guys at the beginning of this video, I sold a bundle of 26 things the other day. That would kind of be a hassle on Mercari. And I like Poshmark's shipping aspect, although some people will argue it's kind of expensive. I just like the ease of it. It's one price, up to five pounds. So, you know, you can use that as a way to encourage people to bundle. You know, if they want to just buy one thing, you can be like, hey, why don't you buy multiple things and you'll save on shipping, you know? Um, but yeah, I just like the ease of just knowing, you know, I, I don't have to choose the carrier. I don't have to do math. I fucking hate math. It's one price up to five pounds. And then if you go over that, you just upgrade your shipping label, super easy. And I built a following on Poshmark. I think I have like three people following me on Mercari. Cause again, Mercari is not really a social app. I do have some things cross posted to Mercari right now. I was actually on the app last night and I noticed they had a promotion going on. It said, if you list 10 items, you get a $20 coupon. So I'm like, oh, that's great. That's awesome. Yeah, so I listed 10 things. Um, it said I would get the coupon by the end of the month. Tomorrow is the end of the month. Well, they didn't disclose the stipulation that you had to spend a hundred dollars or more. I mean, that's kind of my bad. I guess I should have known that, you know, you can't just buy whatever. So that's it for this video. I hope it was informative. I'm not totally against Mercari. Just for my business, I feel like Poshmark is a better fit for your business or for your, even if you don't have a business, even if you just want to sell like random ass things, Mercari might be a better fit for you. If you are a seller on Mercari, you should comment down below and let me know the pros and cons, like your, your opinion, the pros and cons. If you are new to Poshmark and you wanna sign up, you can use my code, it's keeping it rad. You'll get a $10 credit and I also get a $10 credit. 
But yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you guys in my next video.